Hey there! You know how popcorn pops and it's super fun to watch? Well, let me tell you why that happens. Inside each popcorn kernel, there's a tiny bit of water. The water is like a little drop hidden inside a small, hard house. When you put the popcorn in the microwave, it gets really hot, just like when it's sunny and warm outside. As the kernel heats up, the little drop of water inside also gets hot. It turns into steam, like water, but all airy and fluffy. But here's the cool part. The steam needs more room than the little drop of water did. Imagine you're in a tiny room and suddenly need more space to dance around. That's what happens to the steam. It starts pushing on the walls of the popcorn kernel because it wants more space. But the kernel is like a strong, tiny house that doesn't want to break. The steam keeps pushing and pushing until finally, the kernel can't hold it anymore. Pop! The kernel explodes and the steam comes out. This explosion turns the kernel inside out, which makes the fluffy white popcorn you eat. So, every time a popcorn pops, it's like a little steam party happening inside. And when it gets too crowded, they burst out and we get to eat them. Isn't that cool? Uh, all right, so you know how popcorn pops in the microwave because of the tiny bit of water turning into steam? It's like a mini explosion inside each kernel. Well, other fun things happen like this with different foods. Popcorn. We talked about this one. The water inside turns to steam and it pops when it can't fit anymore. This process is why we get fluffy popcorn. Puffed rice cereal. This is like popcorn's cousin. Rice grains are cooked, dried, and then heated up really fast. This makes the little bits of moisture inside the rice turn into steam quickly. Like popcorn, the steam puffs up the rice, and we get puffed rice cereal. It's like tiny pillows of rice. Bread rising. Here's another cool one. When making bread, you use yeast, a tiny living thing. When the yeast eats the sugar in the dough, it releases gas, like a burp. These gas bubbles get trapped inside the dough, making it rise and become fluffy. So when you bake bread, it's like many tiny burps, making the bread soft and yummy. Jiffy Pop. This is popcorn again, but in a special pan with a foil cover. When you heat it on the stove, the kernels pop like in the microwave. But here, the foil expands and grows like a giant silver bubble. It's like watching a balloon inflate. Roasting marshmallows. Have you ever roasted marshmallows over a fire? Inside the marshmallow, there are tiny air pockets. When you heat it, these pockets get hot and expand, making the marshmallow puff up and gooey and delicious. Look at this bowl of popcorn. Each kernel popped into something unique and special, just like you. Remember, with some knowledge and a sprinkle of curiosity, you can discover amazing things. Now, next time you're snacking on popcorn or watching bread rise in the oven, think about the incredible science that made it all happen. And remember to share these fun facts with your friends and family. They'll be super impressed. That's all for today, my popcorn scientists. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for fun adventures in the kitchen and beyond. Stay curious, and I'll see you next time for another exciting journey into the world of food and science.